Chris Richardson, it's the third year in a row we've sent a swimmer to the NCAAs. How's that feel? Uh, how are you getting ready for that? We're, we're very excited. Obviously, Yahav uh, swam some amazing times uh, at the NPSF Championship. He was the only swimmer at the meet on the men's side to win three events. And uh, in pretty remarkable fashion, uh, setting pool record in the 100 breaststroke, going 52-62. That, in the end, was the time that's gonna uh, that, that got him the invite to the meet. He's also going to swim the 50 freestyle and uh, the 200 breaststroke. We're very, very excited how we're preparing is... Uh, he's the kind of guy that he's not done. You know, it, the MPSF was not a period, it was a comma. He is ready to go, fired up mentally, um, has, has started to pop off some pretty good times in practice, uh, coming back, kind of recovering from the meet. So, very, very excited about what Yahav's going to do at the uh, NCAA Championships. Yeah, and I think, you know, um, going, going back to back to back uh, NCAA Championships, it's uh, we're building that national reputation here. Yeah, so you mentioned you have broke some records at the MPSFs. That's 23 school records you guys have broken this year. Um, how do you keep keep going from there? Yeah, I appreciate that. No, we're uh, how you keep going is you recruit fast athletes. You're only as good as your next recruiting class, and so we're certainly excited about uh, the 10 we have signed coming in, and, and we're certainly not done recruiting as well, but. Uh, it's about developing, right? If you get really good athletes as freshmen, you keep developing as, as sophomores and juniors and seniors. Those records are going to keep falling off the board. Certainly a great year, 23 school records. You know, I would say this is the first, some of the first relay records we've broken on the women's side. We broke two relay records this year. Uh, and those records were from 2002, uh, so quite a number of years ago. And that 2002 team, uh, those those relays were All-American relays. Uh, a number of NC2A uh, top eight finishes in those relays in 2002. Uh, so to come back and, and to break some of those records, that was pretty pretty satisfying. Again, that, that women's team in 02 was 15th at NC2A. So very, very excited to break some of those and to have you know most of those relays riddled with underclassmen is something we're really excited about. Yeah, mentioning the underclassmen, you had uh, Ken Ramey, who was a sophomore last year, yep. made the NCAA's. Yahav's a sophomore this year. Um, what do you see as, I mean, the, the ceiling's huge for this team, but what do you see as how they're going to keep growing as, as they just get more experience? Yeah, you know, I'll quote Michael Jordan, right? Uh, the roof is the ceiling. So <laughs> I don't know what that means, but we're pretty excited about that, to have all the young swimmers, um, uh, you know, winning championships, breaking records, meet records, and uh, going to NC2As. I just think that it keeps us hungry, um, and, and they make me a better coach. They make me a better coach. Those young swimmers with the right mindset, uh, they, they, they challenge me to be a better coach, uh, to work harder every day. We're a better staff because we have really good athletes who are focused and determined on the process, not just the results, but the process. So... The NCAAs are coming up here real fast. What are you, what are you expecting from Yahav when you I guys expect get him, there? I expect him to drop time. I expect him to drop time. If you, They call it the fastest meet in the world for a reason. It is, uh, it's harder to get into than the Olympics. Uh, it is, it's an incredibly, incredibly fast meet. Uh, so I expect him to drop time because, you know, I'd, I'd argue that, that where we had our conference championships this year, um, there, were, there were a few different pool challenges, and, and, and I would argue that this pool that we're going to is a lot faster than than the pool we were at for the conference championships. So that alone gives us kind of a mental edge. Uh, you know, if we can make NC two A's and we can do it in, with some of the struggles we had this year um, with the, the situation at conference, I could tell you what that he's going to be locked and loaded to go faster. And and if he goes faster, he's got a shot to be in the top sixteen. You know, I really think that that's that's in the cards. He can absolutely do that. He's that talented. And, uh, you know, even more than talent, because everyone at that level of meat is talented, uh, who's the most mentally strong? And, and Yahav is that. Yahav is that. Perfect. Any closing words on the team? 23 school records this year and counting. I think that's 43 in the last five years. So we're very, very excited about that. Uh, we return a lot of people. But I want to I give a special shout out to the senior class. Uh, the senior class that we had this year was special. They were our first recruiting class that, that I recruited since I've been the head coach here uh, five, five years now. And certainly, certainly proud to see a guy like Curtis Klein go out on top. Um, 
go 143-3 in the 200 backstroke. A guy who had never broken 146, and you know this uh, up until this senior year, and he goes 143-3 uh, to close out his career was was pretty fantastic. But uh, Jordan Maindering, uh, team captain, uh, has 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 meant so much to us. Neil Byers, three-year team captain. Um, Lane Goodhart wrecked it this year. Uh, super fast school record holder Mitch Ongstad. He was Superman this year. Uh, we're, we're, you know, 19-6, 43-3. We're gonna certainly miss him. Uh, but but it's all the contributors. Emily Sekulo gave so much heart and soul to this team. Rosalind Kagman, uh, Whitney Jorgensen, uh, Jared Vu was a was a, a a very stable relay swimmer and in season swimmer for us uh, year in and year out for us. Um, I'm just so, so proud of, of all our seniors, uh, what they gave to us. Um, Viva Gimbutite, right, leaving as a multi-school record holder. Uh, and if I'm missing any seniors there, I apologize. I'm going this off the cuff. But I'll tell you what, you guys have meant so much to our program, and we're the team we are now, breaking all these records because of you. So thank you so much. And from one Pacific Swimming to another, the Pacific alumni swimming uh, to another, Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for everything you've given to our program.